Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to create this cool lens flare effect. I want to give a shout out to Deco for spreading light to this effect, started seeing him using it in his music videos for over a year now, and it became so much more popular and such an essential effect for a lot of editors today. So with that out the way, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and leave a comment if I helped you. Let's get right into this tutorial. So first things first, this is my clip right here. It's a pretty cool, clean clip. He has the cigarette or the blunt, whatever, the heat area, the orange spot. That'll be a perfect spot to put the effect. As you've seen in the intro, you do need to have universe plugins. If you know, you know, get it how you will. But if you don't have universe, you won't be able to do this because the plugin is based off the universe. So I have my clip. Now you don't need to do an adjustment layer. Usually people do, usually people don't. I'll just do it on the clip because it's easier. So we're gonna go to our effects. I have, um fx console you want to type in null light factory and you will be using the uni dot null light factory easy not this one it has to be the easy one once you do that you'll have this tab over here on the left this is by universe make sure you have that like i said again now what we're going to do is go to lens flare choose a flare now there's a lot of flares that you can choose from if you like a certain one go ahead these right here you know the um botany the cyborg desert digital digital preset any one of these is clean and cool we're gonna be using the desert digital that's what looks the best in my opinion you can close out of that now we have this lens right here we can also tweak the other like categories and you know this is basically like the choose a flare preset same thing also change the color here if you'd like if you want to change it up a little bit but the default is orange so we're going to leave it as orange now what we're going to do i'm going to turn the flare brightness down to zero so we can track this before we you know animate it i'm going to go to the first keyframe over here we're going to hit light location we're going to hit the clock on the left and now we have our keyframe down i'm going to hit the clip again and hit u on my keyboard and you will be able to see your keyframes now i'm going to go frame by frame making sure the center is on the blunt part so we can hit our key to go frame by frame like this and i'll get back to you when i'm done now as i'm finished with the tracking as you can see it is tracked nice and neatly yeah so on this frame i'm gonna add a marker now what we're gonna do next is enable the flare brightness animation so we're gonna hit the clock on the left of it hit that we can hit U on our keyboard to see the keyframe. Go a couple frames ahead, and now we're gonna raise the brightness up. Usually, I like to do a like 120, and then towards the middle-ish, raise it up to about you know five or six. We'll do 126, get a little more brighter like that, and then the end, we'll just put it down to zero. Now we're gonna highlight over only the flare brightness keyframes. So there's only three. After you highlight over them, you wanna right-click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now we're going to go to our graph editor, which is right here on the left side of our panel. And now we're going to change this from speed to value. What I like to do is bring this up, not up, but shift, click and hold shift to move it left or right. A little more to the beginning, this one more to the left, as well as this one more like that. And this one more like this. Now I'm going to hit, I'm going to click and hold alt on my keyboard, left alt, and just move it up a little bit. Same with this. So. If you guys can't tell, since it goes up a couple keyframes, it'll slowly increase, go up a little bit, and then decrease. And then we'll get something like this. Nice, clean, and simple. Obviously, now we're going to get a little spicy. We're going to add some extra effects to make it look even better. What you can do is add some chromatic aberration or some warp chroma if you don't have, you know, red giant plugins. So here, what I'm going to do is just hit warp chroma put that down to one and if we see this like this go like that a little bit probably like 980 like put in the middle this and in the end highlight easy ease and you get more of like a this chromatic effect you can even add a warp fisheye just to make that you know look a little more realistic as a chromatic aberration we can even add a transform here just to do a little little cool effect position it like that aiming towards it this isn't really a part of the tutorial you guys can follow along if you want to i'm just kind of making it a little more cleaner just for you guys to you know some ideas you guys can use like that very subtle but noticeable and then what we can do is also add a flicker amplitude into the middle just bump it up as much as you want but yeah this is what it looks like so far and what you can also do is this is also optional but usually i use this because sometimes it looks cool you can add some bleach bypass so what it does is basically 
darken you know your subject in certain spotlight areas and it'll highlight well sometimes it'll highlight you know the main glow or whatever is the main attraction in this clip like that don't really need to easy ease that but you can if you want to but it's very subtle but very noticeable and you'll get something like this so that'll be it for today's lens flare tutorial if you guys did find this helpful i would appreciate it if you guys could leave a like subscribe if you're new leave a comment on what other tutorials you would like to see we're on the road to 24,000 subscribers i'll catch you in the next video peace out